Here's a short video on positioning the bridge. Uh, since a, a banjo bridge is not glued to the head, the strings are holding it in place, and it has to be in the very perfect position to get the best intonation up and down the neck. Um, I'm using a Neckville uh, Enterprise bridge, and it has compensation to help for the third string to play in tune, and I think it's important to have a bridge that is compensated, especially on the third string. But let's make sure that the bridge is in the right place. Uh, many people use a harmonic chime to make sure the bridge is in the right place. And that, that's the best method for, that I would suggest as well. But if, uh, if you take the halfway point of the string scale, which would be the 12th fret, and make, and make a, a chime, well, you can use that uh, note, and you want to have the notes match, the harmonic chime and the fretted note. Um, you make the chime by touching the string lightly at the 12th or 19th fret. And I prefer to use the 19th fret, because if it's off a little bit, you can really tell the difference. So listen to this. The second note is a little bit sharp. Let's try it on the first string. If you can hear the difference in notes, that means that the fretted note is a little bit sharp because the bridge is too close to the neck. We have to move it back a little bit, and we'll try it again. Sounds better, doesn't it? Let's try it. That one's okay. And that one sounds like a little flat. But um, if we get the, all the strings correct, and on the fifth string you can make a chime here at the uh, 17th fret. And you'll get it real close, and you can tinker with it with just minute movements, and your ear can perceive a difference in, in intonation. And with the slightest movement of the bridge. Helps to have your banjo in tune when you do this process. But uh, basically that's it. Um, use the 19th fret harmonic and uh, get that bridge right in the right place. Preferably use a compensated bridge and um, call me if you have any questions.